We are here with Lorraine Pataki at Dunedin Fine Arts Center. Lorraine teaches acrylic impressionism, introduction to pastel, intermediate pastel, and an advanced pastel workshop. So Lorraine, you have brought some artwork in to share with us. Can you tell us about these pieces? Certainly, Sarah. On my right here is a pastel painting, and on my left is an acrylic impressionistic painting. And you are a professional artist. Um, when did you decide to make that leap into a full-time career in art? Well, I had a long and very successful career in corporate and uh, doing very, very nicely, having many corporate relocations. The last relocation in 2006 took me here to Florida. Two years later, my position was outplaced, and uh, I decided this is the time to take my art seriously. So no sooner did I get outplaced than I began my business, Florida Pastels LLC, and I've just been the happiest I've ever been. <laughs> and how long have you been teaching at DFAC? You know, it seems like I've always been a part of the Dunedin Fine Arts Center. I think it's been about six or seven years. Okay. And why did you decide to teach painting and pastel? Well, back to that reason that brought me to Florida and I was outplaced, I had to do something. And uh, so I had already a degree in art and a certification in New Jersey to teach K through 12. So people I knew who were close to me urged me to take my art degree and maybe substitute art teach. I got my Florida teaching certificate, did just that. And then at an art event, I found someone, or she found me, a past board member from the Dunedin Fine Arts Center. And she said, you know, you really should go talk to the Dunedin Fine Arts Center about teaching. And I thought, wow, can I really do that? And I did. And uh, wow, it's just been a fantastic opportunity for me. And it's just a passion. I love teaching art to adults. That's great. Um, so you teach acrylic impressionism. Can you tell us what that is? Yes, I can. And acrylic impressionism actually started in the 19th century in France. And to sum it up, a quote from Claude Monet does it very, very nicely. And he said, try to forget what objects you have before you, a tree, a house, a field, or whatever. Merely think, here is a little square of blue, here an oblong of pink, here a streak of yellow, and paint it just as it looks to you, the exact color and shape until it gives you your own impression of the scene before you. That's lovely. Um, so you also teach pastel. What will your students learn in your pastel classes? In the intro class, what the students will learn is just as it sounds, the very introduction to pastel. What kind of pastels to use, whether soft or hard, what kind of paper to use, how to do mark making, how to have a soft touch, and maybe a little bit of a harder touch to get different effects. In the intermediate class, which is called From Good to Oh My Goodness Gracious, students who have either taken my class before or have taken someone else's class will be able to take their uh, medium of pastel to the next level and explore different techniques, different styles, always having fun, of course. And then in my one day workshop, which is gonna be in February of next year, this is for advanced students, and this is called What Takes Your Breath Away. And you can reflect many times on paintings that you've done, artwork that you've done, that is good. But boy, when you find that one painting that just takes your breath away, you can just stand back and take such pride in it. So in this one day workshop, we're gonna explore why that particular piece took your breath away, and how did you do that? That sounds very interesting. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the atmosphere in your class? Is it very formal and strict? Well, anything but that. Uh, <laughs> there really is no formality, and I just do not take, teach in a strict atmosphere. When you enter the classroom and the door is closed, you're entering a place where creativity reigns and fun also reigns. Uh, you can see me up at the front, I've got my iPad going, music is playing, you can hear and see people singing, including me, you can hear and see people dancing, including me, um, and not that it's all just fun, although it is, we learn a lot, but we learn in a non-threatening atmosphere where people really, really enjoy the process. That sounds like a lot of fun. It is. So besides learning painting skills and pastel techniques, 
What other outcomes have you noticed during your classes? People sometimes come to class feeling like, oh, I'm probably not as good as someone else. I don't really have confidence. And, and everybody goes through that. But it doesn't take a long period of time before they realize that they're all in it together. They form friendship, friendships. The camaraderie is amazing. And whether someone has taken my class many times before or this is the first time, everybody is welcome. And this bond is, is very apparent and it's very meaningful. So it's a welcoming environment. It's a happy environment. And it's a place where many people have said they can leave all of the troubles of the world behind or personal things that are bothering them, including possibly stressful jobs if they still have one. That all gets put aside. They come in and for three hours they create. They look forward to it every single week. That's great. Um, so what would you say to someone who is hesitant to take one of your classes or maybe they're not sure that art is for them? I think you just need to answer the question, what if? What if, what if I take this class? Let me, let me ask that question again. Okay. <laughs> you can splice and dice. Dang it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Didn't want to do it, but. All right. Um, okay. So what would you say to someone who is hesitant to take one of your classes or maybe they're not sure that art is for them? I would say to them, ask yourself the question, what if? What if I possibly take this class and end up enjoying it? What if that art that I put on the shelf a long time ago because I got married, I had children, I raised a family and I just didn't know, do I still have it? What if I find some creative talent that I never knew I had before? What if? Take a class and answer that question and have fun. Well, thank you so much for telling us about your classes and your artwork. Uh, we will have a link below this video for um, Lorraine's classes. You can sign up there. And again, thank you so much. Thank you, Sarah.